Hello, in this video I will show you how I set up my game before I play. Launch options. I set no date high and no adjust. In game video settings, I set all low. Set multi sampling and violation on 8. And no, there's a traffic filter. So I'm gonna need this. This this makes everything more sharper and it helps. Everything else is useless. So you don't need it. And of course I play on full HD full screen. And I play on TV with medium brightness, so I think. Because it suits it's best for my eyes. Okay then. Uh, this site on this side you can set up uh, your crosshair from here you paste into console if you don't know how to turn the console on you can turn it on from here you say enable developed console and then you can you can type in here for example sensitivity I use free sensitivity because in CS 1.6 I also use tree so that's why I use the same here I use uh, 1.6 but not dynamic and with a dot so this kind of crosshair and then you just copy and paste this into your console and that's it um, also wanna show you maybe if you follow my channel you probably know about the important G practice aiming here it helps, it really helps this side. So, if you play with an op or with any, it just helps. I gotta tell you, play a few games here before you go competitive, it means a lot. And I also wanna show you this site, NGOHQ. If you type how to increase USB sample rate in Windows 7, you download this and let me just. You have all the info you need here, so, so you download driver signature enforcement overrider and then you enable test mode, restart your PC, then install this file that you will download from this zip, then you run setup that also comes with in here, and then you select filter on device and let me show you this. Okay. I'm just gonna show you how it's done. So you take this and you enable test mode restart. When you restart, you will see here test mode Windows 7 down here. Okay, then the next time you go to sign a system file, but before you do, and then you restart again. Before you do that, you need to install this. And then you run here, you set filter on device and set 1000 or 500, depends on how built. You don't need to do this if you have, if your mouse has its own software. But some, some mice don't come with software, so you need to, this way you ma manually set the pulling rate of your mouse to 1000. And it's much more responsive that way. It's, uh, then when you run the mouse rate, you can see how 1000 hertz responsiveness. It's much, much more responsive and much easier to control. Yeah, that's all I want to show you guys. This one also shows us the mouse input. See? So on average 700. I have different DPI setting, but it's not constant, but it's, it's constant when you're moving the mouse all the time. About 1000. Uh, better, better mouse is of course, the, a better mouse will show better responsiveness. But I'm I'm satisfied with this. It's pretty good. So that's all I want to say, guys. Bye.